Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Exponents, Part 1. So the number one thing you need to remember and really, really understand is that when you write an exponent in math, it is just a shortcut way of writing down multiplication. And we use it a lot because we're multiplying things very often in math, and we find ourselves, that because of that, using exponents a lot in math. So it's easier to see it by an example. It's a very simple concept. Let's say that I have three raised to the exponent of two. This uh, number two up here is called the exponent. We also call it the power. So you might say three to the power of two. You might also say three uh, uh, to the exponent of two. And actually the number two as an exponent has a special word, we call it squared. So you might call it three squared or four squared or five squared. When the exponent is a two, we call it a square. It's just, it's just a word you have to learn. All right, now what does this actually mean? What it means is you take the bottom number, we call it the base, and you take that number and you multiply it by itself, right? And how many threes do I have here? I have two of them because it's three squared. So that's why I say it's a shortcut for multiplication. What you do is you take the base, the bottom number, and you multiply it by itself. And how many of these are here in the multiplication? It is the number that we have in the exponent. All right, so what is three times three anyway? Three times three, as you know, is nine. So we can say that three to the power of two is nine. We can also call it three uh, to the exponent of two is nine. And we can also call it, because two is a special is a special exponent, we say three squared is nine. Now you might say, why do I care about that? That doesn't seem so helpful. You're just gonna have to trust me a little bit that when we get a little farther in math, exponents pop up all over the place in our equations. One simple example, when you get a little farther along and calculate how much gravity is between two objects like the Earth and the Moon, there's going to be a square, an exponent of two in that calculation. It pops up in nature all the time. So let's get some more practice here and take a look at some additional examples. What about two to the power of two or two to the exponent of two? We can also call it two squared. How would we write that down? All right. Well, what we do is we take the bottom number and we multiply it by itself. So it's this many times times itself. We have two of them because the exponent is a two. Two times two is four. So we say two squared is four, or two to the power of two is four, or two to the exponent of two is four. All of those mean exactly the same thing. All right. Let's take a look at another power of two, five to the power of two. How would we write that down? We're always, always multiplying by ourself, by itself. So it's five multiplied by itself. So the number of times we have multiplied by itself is what the exponent is, and five times five is 25. So we say that five to the power of two is 25. All right, now let's change the exponent a little bit, mix it up a little bit. Let's say we have one to the power of three. Now, what do you think you do here? The exponent is telling you how many times you multiply by itself. So one times one, that would be one to the power of two, but we have one to the power of three, so it has to be times itself again. You see, the number of times I have on the board here multiplied by itself is the same as the exponent. That's what the exponent is. Now, one time, since you have multiplication, remember order of operations means you go left to right, multiply. One times one is one, and we still have to multiply by this one. So we're multiplying again, and one times one again is one. So all I've done here is I multiplied the first two to give me one, and I still have to multiply by one again, and I get one. Now I'll tell you right now, one is a special number. It doesn't matter what exponent you raise it to, the answer is always what? One. One to the power of four is one times one times one times one equals one. What is one to the power of 19? Still one. What is one to the power of 100? Still one. What is one to the power of 2,034? Still one, because all you're doing is multiplying times one over and over again. All right, what about eight to the power of two? Eight to the power of two. Well, we take the bottom number, the base, and we multiply it by itself. We have to have two on the board because we have a power of two. Eight times eight is what? 64. So we can say that 8 squared is 64, or 8 to the power of 2 is 64. All right, let's move right along here. What about 10 to the power of 2? 10 to the power of 2. 
Same thing, bottom number is the base. We multiply it by itself, and we have two of them here because the exponent is two. 10 times 10, you know from your multiplication tables is 100. So the answer is 100. And you might say, why is he doing power of two so many times? And the truth is, as I mentioned before, the power of two pops up so much in real life. It pops up in gravity, it pops up in electricity and magnetism, it pops up, I could go on and on. The power of two is just special somehow, it pops up everywhere. So we, we do that one a little more. Now for our next one, what about three to the power of three, right? So three to the power of three, what does this actually mean? It means you take the bottom number three and you multiply it by itself and we have to do that three times here because the power is three, right? So when we get the answer, we multiply, left to right. Three times three is nine, but I still have to multiply by this final three. What is this nine times three? That's 27. And so the answer to three to the power of three is equal to 27. These two things are interchangeable. Anytime you see this, it just means this. And it's a shortcut way of writing out all of this multiplication. All right, let's take a look at, we're almost done actually. Take a look at four to the power of two. What does four to the power of two actually mean? It means we take the base four and we multiply it by itself. And what is four times four? We have two of them here for the power of two. Four times four is 16. So the answer to that problem is 16. You see, once you get the hang of exponents, they're actually quite easy. What about 11 to the power of two? 11 to the power of two means that we take the 11 and we multiply it by itself. We have two of them here because we're, we're squaring it. Now you might remember this, or you might not. If you don't, just go over here and multiply. We have to multiply these. One times one is one, one times one is one, drop zero. One times one is one, one times one is one, add. We have a, a one, a two, and a one. You might remember that 11 times 11 is 121, but if you don't, just write down and multiply there. The answer is 121. All right, now here's our very last problem. Let's take a look at two to the power of three, two to the power of three. All right, what do we have here? We have the base two multiplied by itself. This would be two squared. We have to do it one more time because it's to the power of three. So what do we have here? Left to right multiply, two times two is four. Still have to multiply by this two. Four times two is eight. And uh, the answer is eight. So two to the power of three is eight. So here we've introduced the concept of exponents here. And you can see that exponent is just a shortcut way, a shorthand way of writing down multiplication. And at first you might not know why we're doing it because it seems like, well, this doesn't seem so helpful, but you're just gonna have to trust me that as we get a little farther in math and you learn about more things, you will find that these exponents, they pop up everywhere. So we really, really have to know how to deal with exponents. I'd like you to solve all of these problems yourself. We've had exponents of two and exponent of three uh, and in the next lesson, follow me on to the next lesson, we're going to increase the exponent a little bit more, but the same exact concept applies as what you have learned here.